close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute. I feel like I've said that like in the past two videos, but seriously, it's been a long time since I've uploaded. I know I planned on uploading weekly and life has just gotten in the way and I'm trying not to beat myself up about it because it's not a big deal. Like sometimes I have to put other things first, but today I'm back with another video. So I've been wanting to do this video for probably like the last two months and like I've just been meaning to do it for ages and I feel like I said it in my last video where I was like yeah if like today I want to like clean out my pantry but today I'm actually cleaning out my pantry so I thought instead of trying to like do like a daily vlog and like incorporate this in that video I'm just going to dedicate this whole video to cleaning up my pantry and like sorting through all my stuff so yeah that's what the video is going to be about today um, I also have a little bit of an update, I don't know, update, whatever. I got my hair done last week and I'm absolutely loving it. It is so, it's just, it's got life back to it. Like, I don't know, you probably can look at my other vlogs. I'm pretty much always been uh, like a one color. Like I just do a whole color over my hair and it's always like a dark brown. Um, so I'm slowly starting to go a bit lighter. So we did like a balayage. Um, and it's pretty subtle because my hair was dark um, and there's a lot of like red undertones from my previous colors so my hairdresser said it's gonna be like a couple of you know a couple of sessions until we can get it really like to where you want it but I'm actually really liking it right now as it is you can probably see a little bit of the lighter bits coming through um, and I did I did get quite a bit taken off the length too. I'll show you in my full length mirror because it's probably a lot easier for you to see. So, oh my God, <laughs> I just had a shower. Funny story. I just had, I had a shower and got ready for this video because, um, yeah, I, I'm like, I'm filming this today and I didn't wash my hair because I've been waiting. I ordered like a special shampoo for like colored hair so it doesn't strip my color. Cause you know, usually I just use like the supermarket shampoo. Like I don't really pay too much attention, but I'm gonna start taking care of my hair a bit more since it's been colored. Um, I don't want it to be damaged and like get really dry and brittle. So I ordered salon shampoo online and I knew it was coming today and it said it was coming today, but I was like, I need to film this video now because like, if I don't, then it's not gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, so had a shower, didn't wash my hair because I'm still waiting on the package. Then I get out of the shower and the package is literally, uh, literally sitting at the front door. Like, anyway, so <laughs> got back into the shower, washed my hair. Um, and then like I was still wet like I'm in kind of like a rush I just want to like start filming so yeah I don't think you needed that whole backstory but yeah that's why there's wet on my trackies I'm pretty daggy today because I'm just at home but yeah point of this is to show you my hair so I got some quite a lot of length cut off um, it was down to like here like these are really high waisted, but yeah, it was down to like here and she did take quite a bit off, but I'm really, really loving it. So yeah, that's my little update. My hair is Kevin and Brent just snapping it out. Okay. So back to the video. It's really warm. I need to put the air cool on. All right, it's 27 degrees in here, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me show you the before because it is honestly a shit show. <laughs> okay, so as you probably know, if you've watched my other videos, I do live with housemates. So the top two are my housemates and then one, two, three are mine and Ryan's shelves. So yeah, it's just like 
what's back there. Like, I really, I don't know what is there. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's the challenge for today. I'm pretty much going to start by just pulling everything out, sorting it into like categories, giving it a good clean because I feel like it's going to be really gross in there because like I just have a feeling. Um, and then I'll like go through, throw out what's bad and yeah, just, I hope this is interesting. I kind of like watching these. These are like just like mindless videos to watch. Um, and then it gives you like sort of an idea of what I'm eating and like what I always have in my pantry. So yeah, let's get into it. the most which is the tuna so I've actually got these little containers from Ikea um, I've had them for ages I just haven't really used them so I'm gonna just grab all the tuna and I'm gonna put it into this container just so that's organized hang on I'm just gonna adjust you okay I'm going to just start by like grabbing everything that I know I haven't used and has been sitting in my pantry for like over six months and just I'm gonna throw it out or give it to one of my housemates because yeah I just know I'm not gonna eat it stuff these crackers yeah they're best before and they've been open in my pantry for far too long so they're going um, what else? I feel like you can't really see what I have here. So I'm going to try and adjust you. Okay, I have heaps of this baking stuff from also when I was keto. Um, and that's also the stuff that's in all these jars that I have back here hiding away. So like LSA powder. I've got almond meal, sunflower seeds, almonds, psyllium husk, beef gelatine for keto like recipes. I also have my keto like collagen MCT oil powder. I've barely used this and it was really, really expensive. So I'm definitely keeping that. Um, I'm just gonna run you through a few things. So this is the pasta I've been using as well. This is really, really good. I love it. It's high protein, so it's 21 grams of protein per serve. Um, and then I have that with like turkey mints and it's so high protein and so filling. Other stuff is just like canned goods, sauerkraut, like rice thins. I've have been having those a lot lately. I've got like roasted chickpeas, some nuts, I don't know why, but I have so much taco sauce and taco seasoning. I don't know why. This is just like gravy. This can probably go out. Honestly, I've had it for that long. So I'm going to chuck that. Where's my rubbish one? And I never really reach for that. So that can go. These are all my baking little powders. My pre-workout, obviously that's staying. I've got like chai powder, sugar-free drinking chocolate, which I do use. I've got all this like tea and stuff and it's kind of like really hard because I get gifted like 
for the birthdays and stuff, I get gifted stuff like this and I'm not a really, I'm not a tea drinker. So it's kind of awkward because I know it's like really good tea. Um, but I don't really want to throw out. Maybe I'll give it to someone, but I just, it needs to come out of my pantry because it's just taking up space. Oh my God, it can't. it's just taking up space and I don't use it. So, and also like these little teas and stuff, they're going to go because I don't use them. And I always think you think like, oh, what if someone comes over and they want like a tea? I've never, I don't think I've ever made anyone a tea. And it's just like been sitting there. So yeah, that stuff's going to go. Okay, so that's basically all of that. It is so much stuff and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it all. How did it fit in there to begin with? I've also got all my tubs. So let's just make some room. In my tubs, I have red cabbage, a can of soup. I'm going to keep these because these last for ages and they're just really good if you don't have anything to go with like meat or anything. You can just heat this up in the microwave and it adds to it. Another Asian Luxa soup. Um, if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with Asian Luxa. So that's staying. Oh, I need paprika. God, paprika, fantastic. Don't have any of that left and was needing it the other day. And what do you know, more tuna. It's just like tuna's a thing where it's kind of like, why would I throw it out when it lasts so long? But anyway, I we literally have like 40 cans of tuna here. I'm not even kidding you. More tuna, more tuna, more tuna. Love that. So much. Some pods that have just fallen out of this pod. I need to get like a little container for my pods or something and then not have them in the boxes. Tea again. I don't I don't drink tea, so that's going. Canned tomatoes always comes in handy with like a pasta or like a sauce or something. I have these body trim bars I'm sure I bought them on special um, and they're actually expired from last year so they're going out okay that's one tub done love that black beans uh, coconut milk good for cooking apple cider vinegar don't use it I'm getting rid of it another soup I've got these sausages that I've never eaten, so I'm going to give that. I've also, why have I got... I've got three packets of stock cubes. Uh, June 2020, so they're alright. September 2019, September 2019. Keep that just to have one because I've got rid of all my stock. These noodles, they're probably expired. Yep. October last year. Oh, wow. Chickpeas. Another sauerkraut. Okay, another one. Again, T2 cocoa powder also don't use, so that's going out. Use that. This is best before 5th of 2019. This is um, a Ritzotol again, used for like baking. I'm gonna keep that because it's really good. That last ages. Uh, maple syrups, liquid stevia, coconut flour. Oh, it's all sticky. Oh, oh something's leaked. <laughs> Getting rid of that. That's done. Okay. Pecans. They're good for cooking, keeping those. Oh. And flour. Like, this is the kind of stuff I get for baking, and I use it once and then I never use it again. Okay, this is the last 
last one. I'm going to quickly sort through this because this video is a lot longer than I intended. Um, and then I will show you like the final product. And we are done. I am so, so happy. Like literally when I was throwing stuff out, I had like this sense of relief because this is a big job that I've been putting off for months. Um, and I'm so, so happy with how everything looks. I've thrown out a lot of stuff. So I got rid of a lot of my jars that I had stuff in um, because I just literally don't reach them anymore. Um, that's good stuff that I'm going to give away. Um, and then another big rubbish bag here and here. So I will show you the final product. I am so, so happy if you can't tell. Like I'm literally like, oh, I can breathe again. And now I actually know what's in my pantry. So when I go shopping, I have like a better understanding and I'm not doubling up on stuff. So I will show you what it looks like in three, three, two, one. Oh my God, I am so, so happy. You have no idea. So top shelf number one. I'm sorry if the visual is very like distorted and it's really bad lighting here. So yeah, just bear with me. Shelf number one, I have like the all the tuna in the world, my soups, the rice, and just like breakfast muesli, um, wheat mix and stuff, and then my corn thins. Then shelf number two, it's probably the most crowded. Um, it's kind of like the best I could do, but I'm still super happy with it. So we have at the back like all my canned stuff, um, all stuff that I really don't reach for that often. So like sauces and stuff, all the oils, balsamic. Um, this little thing I just put in a tray and then it's got my cans underneath. This is like my little snack thing with protein bars and like chickpeas. Then on the right, I have all my coffee. So I've got <laughs> instant coffee at the back, which I barely reach for, but it's just good to have. Um, sachets, I've got my sugar-free drinking chocolate sachets. And again, like chai and stuff like that. Then at the front, I've also used a little um, glass container and I've emptied out all my coffee pods into this. I think that's gonna be a lot more, just like, it's just gonna be easier to grab in the mornings or like when I want a coffee rather than like, just like trying to go through the box and everything. And then you can see like what you've got um, and some tea as well. Then the last shelf, I think it's probably my favorite shelf. It just looks quite like aesthetically pleasing. So with all my Naked Harvest pre-workout, you guys know I have that every morning before my workouts. So I wanted it to be at the front so it's like really easy to grab because I do use that pretty much every day. Then I've got my proteins here in this container and then like stuff that I reach for quite often. So like flaked almonds, um, cacao nibs, I have that on my protein oats after gym. Then this is more like baking stuff. So like I've got jelly, I've got like chia seeds, protein powder, collagen powder, maple syrup. And then at the back, I've just kind of put stuff that I really don't reach for that often. So um, I've got, what's at the back there? The stevia, some nuts. And then I've also got like that burrito pack which it's kind of like a big box. So if I look down, I know I have it. If it's sitting at the back there and I can grab it. So yeah, that is it guys. That is the end product. I'm so, so happy. You have no idea. This is just going to make my life so much easier. And yeah, it's just like a relief. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It's probably going to be a long video, which I really wasn't expecting. I guess I kind of just didn't really realize how much I had in my pantry because it was all just like bush to the back. Um, so yeah, that's today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like because it really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I do upload new videos. I'd love to say weekly, but it's 
It's more like every two weeks, um, I am trying to really step up my game this year with YouTube and go to weekly uploads. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.